it's mommy's first time looking at it. Munch has had it for about a week and he's been exploring it. And so he's going to walk us through. And after that, I'm going to give him a couple of challenges to just kind of mess with our solar system. All right. So we are in a preview version. So we have like the space goggles. If you take them off. The sun looks much bigger and brighter. Wow, so the goggles kind of dim the lights down so we can actually see the objects. But with the goggles off, we see it at its true brightness, correct? Yeah. I see Mercury rotating. Yeah, we have all the planets like Mercury, we have Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. We have Neptune, we also have Pluto. Can you get to Jupiter? Yeah, you just have to zoom up and then click on it twice and then you zoom back in. Wow. Ooh, look how fast it's spinning around on its axis. That's why it's only nine hours in a day's time. But like, the, our time is sped up, so that's why it looks fast. But if you slow it down, you can see it's, it's spins, but slower. Oh, wow. And also on the backside, it's very dark because of night, but there is a light. To, to show the entire planet. That's pretty cool. All right, so go zoom back out. Double click on Mars and then zoom back in. Turn the light back on. Wow. Oh, pretty good. You can like increase the mass of it. <gasps> Whoa, and it just grew. Yeah, and it also makes the planet bigger, and you can also make the planet bigger, like, normally. It's growing like a pimple. That's the red spot. You know how you get a pimple on your face, and it grows and grows until it pops? <laughs> Are you going to make Mars pop? <laughs> no, but it's the pop. And you can also, like, make the heat hotter. Whoa. Like, let's take the, the goggles off and see how that looks. Whoa! Oh! That blinded me. <laughs> All right, let's put it back on right now. So, like, you can increase the temperature, and there's also different temperature readings. We have Fahrenheit, which we normally use. We have Celsius and Kelvin. So I'm gonna set this to Fahrenheit, and then we can also we can also increase or decrease the rotational the period. Yeah, so like if we increase it, the day is longer. And if we decrease it enough, then this happens. <gasps> oh no, Mars! It's disintegrating. It's spinning too fast. And, Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness, Mars! And now it's shredded down to almost the core. Oh wow! How sad is that? Mars has turned into fragments. Yeah. All right, well, how about we make Earth's temperature cooler? What will happen then? Then the entire Earth will just start to turn to ice. I just turn I just turned it down to like let's let's turn it back up. Get our okay. light. Let's, let's Can you turn the atmosphere off cuz I think they said you could, right? Yeah, you could turn the atmosphere off with those this. Oh wow. And also the Temperature is boiling level. We can pause time. Wow, everything looks like a desert because it's super hot. And then like we can turn the temperature down. And then if we unpause time, then it should like start to start to freeze. Really? I am turning it down to the coldest it could be. Negative 400 and 60. Wow. Hey friends, if you haven't done so, give us a like and hit that subscribe button. Also check out our new book called Traveling the Solar System filled with a lot of fun facts on each of our planets. The link is in the description. Challenge time. All right. I want you to duplicate Jupiter. Put right. the second Jupiter where the rocky planets are. Alright, so what we could do is press this plus button and then we can place down every single object known. Even stars, even the biggest star in the universe, Stevenson 218. So let's do Jupiter and where should we put it? Let's put it in between Mars and Earth. So just about there. And so what will happen? 
I think either Mars or, or Earth will probably get sucked in. Really? Let's speed up time to see if that happens. Yeah, right now. Alright, so right now we're currently moving at a month. Ooh! The, the Jupiter has <gasps> a cross orbit with Mars. Oh no! It's coming in closer. So that, like, if it's at the right point, They're then Mars collide. could get jumped. Can, yeah, like, if at the right, at a certain uh -oh. point, like, Mars could get sucked in. So far, nothing seems to be happening. Right, it's going crazy. Five Earth years. Let's, let's, let's slow pause down. Let's for a second. And, like, you, you can pause. Has anything changed? Not really. It's just, just the Mars. Orbit. Yeah, it's just Mars orbit. Let me, like, view the sun. It's like if we, like, go fast, then it won't be, like, dizzy. Awesome. Yeah. Wait, somebody's orbit is changing. Whoa. Whose orbit Mars is Mars's <gasps> orbit? Mars is way out. Where is he at? He has, like, a cross orbit with the second Jupiter. He goes... In between the Jupiter and Earth, all the way out to even past the asteroid belt. Yes, he's getting ready to hit the first Jupiter. All right, let's go. Let's move fast and see what happens in the next. All right, let's go. All right, five five Earth years a second. Whoa! It's the orbit just got bigger, and now it has a cross orbit with the normal Jupiter. And it's going out towards Saturn. So... The second Jupiter just messed up Mars totally. Whoa! They almost collided at that oh, point. Oh, now his orbit is going back in. But let's, let's speed it up a little to the max I can possibly have it, which is 70 Earth years. <gasps> Look! What is going on? What is happening? He has a cross orbit with Mercury. Earth and Venus. No, he did have a cross orbit with Mercury, but it was very close. Well, look, he is <gasps> oh, Mercury. He has a cross orbit with Mercury. <laughs> Mars, what are you? Oh, Mars, Mars is getting closer to the sun. I don't know about that. I don't know. Let's look at the planet. Let's see what it looks like. Wow, it's almost like Mercury's twin. Yeah, Mars is very hot. Let's, whoa, look at it. Yup, it's not red anymore. The dust is gone. The red dust is gone. Like, let's take off the atmosphere. Oh, no, it's still there. Yeah. All right, new solar challenge. System. Put a second Jupiter okay. next to Jupiter and Saturn. Let's see how that alters the solar system. I don't think much will happen, but I think there's a pretty good chance that Saturn can get sucked in. Let's speed it up super fast. Speed it up. Speed right. it up. I'm, speed speeding, it, I'm up. speeding it up to the max so I can possibly get it to, which is 70 Earth years. So far, nothing is happening. Yeah, nothing much is happening. But wait, the sun is what at... What is that? There's a tail in the sun. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's trails. We have trails on, so like... The sun is like moving. Let's let's slow it. Let's slow it down. Three Earth years a second. You can see the sun is moving with the trail. Oh, so it's not staying in one place. Yeah. Okay, I get it. So let's go back to the second Jupiter. Let's see what happened there. Oh wow! Whoa. Saturn's orbit got a little janky. Yeah, and the two Jupiters are fine. Yeah. All right, so right now we're speeding up back to 70, 70, 70 Earth Whoa, years. somebody, somebody's orbit is going crazy. Whoa, what, this? It's slingshotting. Which one is that? Well, which one, this guy? Yeah, that's an object we don't know. It's the, 2014 NW65. I don't know what that is. Yeah, that, that orbit is normal. Let's look at Saturn to see if anything has happened pretty much nothing do we see saturn's rings in here or no no but like up here we can have like fly to we can land like oh, go wow. into the surface or like in the atmosphere and then we could add 
add moons so we see all the all of Saturn's moons. Oh, a lot of them. And then we can see show rings, Saturn rings, and then we add, and then that's Saturn's rings, and we have the all the moons. And if we pause time, like you can see the rings and all the moons. Wow, that's amazing. Well, it doesn't look like the two Jupiters did much to the solar system with the first challenge. It just made Mars turn into like a second Mercury and Saturn. There really wasn't much going on there. We're going to end this video here, but we're going to give you a sneak peek at our next Universe Sandbox Challenge. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.